it's a sign that has a lot of people scratching their heads, a for sale sign on one of the Wabash Bridge Piers. Tonight, Russ Jones set out to learn just what that sign is all about. Royce, what'd you come up with? Hey, Ken. So, you know, a lot of people walk and run and bike past the Wabash Bridge Piers every single day, but a lot of folks haven't known that they've actually been up for sale for the past two and a half years. But once these for sale signs went up about a few weeks ago, interest has definitely peaked. Standing 50 feet above the Mon River downtown, the Wabash Bridge Piers, now part of a trust fund, are looking for their next owner after the previous one passed away three years ago. A.J. Pantoni has the monumental task of selling them. I've been fielding phone calls from a lot of folks across the United States. A lot of them saying, hey, what could I do? Uh, can we put a tiny house on top of them? The piers used to support the Wabash Bridge, which carried freight trains through the Wabash Tunnel. It was torn down in 1940 and the piers are all that's left. Their most recent owner purchased them in 1979 for about $18,000 and found plenty of ways to repurpose them, including being used to fly flags for the arts festival. They've been used for advertising, so a lot of historical um, shots of the city of Pittsburgh, you'll see where there were barges that were parked with advertising on top of them, but they've also been used for fleeting and other services along the, uh, along the Mon. But what to do with them now? I think it's kind of funny. It's like trying to sell the Brooklyn Bridge. Pantoni tells me people have proposed plenty possible purposes for the piers, from advertising to art installation. In 58, there was a proposed restaurant to be put on the top of it. So, you know, could we use this for a marina? Uh, could this be rock climbing? Could we integrate it in with the path that goes along the river? No matter what the future owner decides to do with them, they will need to consult with the Army Corps of Engineers and the National Coast Guard. And no, the piers do not have to move unless they pose a hazard to navigation. Now, the seller could not speak to an asking price for these peers, but did tell me that there have been a lot of serious inquiries. You know, I might actually be one of them, Ken. If I can come up with the money for it, I would like to purchase them to erect a statue of you right here behind me. It'd be bronze. Think Statue of Liberty with better hair. Reporting <laughs> live with the Mon Werb, Royce Jones, KDK News. <laughs> what a colossal waste of money there. Thank you, Royce.